Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at parts of cars. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said before, today's lesson is looking at cars and the different parts of the car that we have. Now, we're going to focus on the external parts of the car, not necessarily the internal parts. There are some things that are inside the car, but the majority are outside, okay? Now, we're gonna start at the back and we'll work our way around. So we'll start here at the back of the car with the bumper. The bumper is on the back of the car and the bumper is to protect your car if you hit another one. Now we have a back bumper and also a front bumper so we can see two bumpers but the bumper is this part of the car here. The next thing is the brake or tail lights, okay? So when you put your foot on the brake and these lights are red, they are called brake or tail lights. Tail lights in the US, because remember in English, the vocabulary changes sometimes according to the country. So brake lights in the majority of the countries and tail lights in the US, maybe in Canada as well, I don't know. The next thing we have here is this part of the car where we put things in the back and that is called the boot or the trunk in the USA. So the boot or the trunk. So you put the suitcases in the boot or the trunk if you're in the USA. The next thing here is the aerial or the antenna again in the USA. Aerial or antenna. And of course the aerial is there to pick up the radio frequency so you can listen to music in your car. The next thing here is going inside the car and it is the the seat belt, okay? The seat belt that covers you when you're driving and protects you if you have an accident. It's called the seat belt. The next thing here is also inside the car and it is called the rear view mirror. The rear view mirror is the thing that you look up into when you are driving so that you can see what is behind us, okay? The rear view mirror. The next thing here is the windscreen or the windshield in the USA. The windscreen or the windshield, okay? And this is here obviously to protect us from the wind and other things that are flying when we're traveling at fast speeds. Now also, the things that clean the windscreen are called windscreen wipers, windscreen wipers, okay? Because they wipe the window, they wipe the window. Windscreen or windshield wipers. The next thing is the bonnet at the front of the car or the hood in the USA, the bonnet or the hood. And of course, under the bonnet, if you open the bonnet, you have the engine or the motor of the car, the engine or the motor. At the front of the car, we have the headlights, and we also have indicators, okay? The indicators, when we indicate which way we're going to turn, if we're going to turn right or left, we indicate, and they're also called turn signals in the USA. So indicators or turn signals. Now, coming down here, here we have this thing here is called a wing or a side mirror. It's on the side of the car. Nowadays, cars have two mirrors or two wing or side mirrors. 
When I learnt to drive, there was only one, but nowadays cars have two, so we have two wing or side mirrors. Another thing inside the car is the dashboard, where we have all of the instruments, where we have our speedometer, tells us how much petrol we have left. Okay, that is called the dashboard, and also inside the car as well is the steering wheel. Okay, the steering wheel. Now, coming down here, we have the wheel. Okay, cars have four wheels. And on the outside of the wheel, we have a tyre. Tyre can be spelled two ways. T-Y-R-E or T-I-R-E, okay, in the USA. So the tyre and the wheel. Also, we have this thing here where we put the petrol or the gas into the car. It's called a fuel cap, a gas cap or a petrol cap. Okay, a fuel, gas, or petrol cap, where we put the petrol into the car. Now, there's a couple of other things that I haven't mentioned. For example, the seats inside the car, the doors, and this here at the back is called a rear window or rear wind screen, it can also be called. So, rear window or rear windscreen or wind shield. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you have any comments, any doubts, any questions, please leave them below. Remember that if you like the lesson, please share it on social media, your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, whatever your social media form of choice is. Please share the video and I'll see you in the next lesson. Good day. Bye.